Ignoring mask orders at the border, U.S. Border Patrol agents are still securing the border during the pandemic, but many U.S.-Mexico travelers say agents aren't wearing protective masks. And as News 8's Lamar Abrams reports, speaking up may cost you. A CBP spokesman tells us tonight agents have been provided with personal protective equipment and instructed to use them. But when one essential commuter questioned why many agents are not wearing those masks at the border, things got messy. He got very angry. He was very, very, he got near my car. He was yelling at me, screaming at me. Robert Bianchi is describing a U.S. Customs and Border Protection agent at the U.S.-Mexico border. He says the agent was so furious when Bianchi refused to remove his mask that he took away the quick entry pass he uses every day to cross the border for work. Sworn agents for the country, they're putting us at risk. Bianchi says he had a legitimate reason for wanting to keep his mask on. Because they're not wearing a mask and, and they want me to expose my face to their face. And they say they're six feet away, but they're not six feet away. They're not six feet away. They're, they're about four feet away from you. We sent our cameras to the border to see for ourselves. But when we showed up, agents made sure to wear their masks. CBP maintains those agents have received guidance and protection with, quote, a ready supply of personal protective equipment, including nitro gloves, N95 respirators, eye protection, and disposable outer garments. I'm overweight, obviously, and I've got diabetes. I don't want to find out what COVID-19 will do to me. That's why I'm taking as many precautions as I have. In his home place of Tijuana, there are about a thousand confirmed cases of COVID-19 and close to 200 deaths. It may not sound like a lot compared to the rest of the country, but officials say the region's already strained hospitals aren't equipped for the rising numbers. Why aren't they afraid of being exposed? Bianchi still makes the daily commute from Tijuana to his job in Otay Mesa, but inspections take hours without his sentry pass, so he plans to write the Department of Homeland Security hoping to make his case. This is not my fault. CBP data shows 56 agents in California have tested positive for coronavirus. Thank you, Lamar.